Recently, I uploaded a slides animation tutorial for After Effects and you liked it, but many of you people are asking how to create this amazing photo slides animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So in this video, I'm going to show you the step by step process how you can do that in DaVinci Resolve. Hey guys, this is Vikas from Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's open DaVinci Resolve, take a new project and get started. And before we start this video, make sure to hit the like button to appreciate my hard work and please subscribe if you are watching my video for the very first time. Alright guys, so this is the Vinci Resolve 18 edit page and before we get started, we have to do some basic setting as usual. So click on the setting button in the corner and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 which is the full HD resolution. But if you want to create this animation in 4K resolution, you only have to select Ultra HD option from here. Now we have to select a frame rate. So in this case, I am using 60 frames per second for smooth animation but you can select 24 frames per second for cinematic and click on save. After that we have to take a new fusion composition because I'm gonna create this animation inside of the fusion page. So just go to the media pool if you don't have the media pool you can simply click on the media pool button. Right click on the media pool click on new fusion composition. Let's call it fusion. Duration make it 6 second long which is good enough for one slide. Leave the setting as it is, click on create. If you don't want to follow this tutorial, don't worry, I have created easy to use photo slides animation template for DaVinci Resolve along with the video tutorial. So just go to the link in the description and check this out. Now let's drag and drop the fusion composition on the timeline just like that and then go to the fusion page. And here we will get the media out node. So just drag this media out to the side for now. Now we have to import any image or video file that we want to use in this project. So just go to the media pool, right click on that, click on import media, select any image or video file. So in this case, I'm using these two images that I have downloaded from unsplash.com and I will give you a link in the description. Just click on open. Now let's drag and drop the image on this flow window. You can close the media pool. And this is the media in let's drag and drop to the viewer and as you can see we have a different proportion so we have to fit the image according to the project size so it's very important let's take a new background node and this background is going to be the mat so hit F2 on the keyboard to rename or you can also right click on the node and click on rename let's call it mat drag and drop the mat to the viewer as you can see we have the perfect size 1920 by 1080 and I'm gonna fit this image according to this project size so it's very simple let's take a new merge node and as you all know inside of the merge node we have four different point so the yellow point is for background green is for foreground this is the main output I'm gonna use this mat as a background and this one as a foreground. So connect the yellow background point with this mat and green foreground point with this media in and drag this merge one to the viewer. And now you can see here we have the perfect size 1920 by 1080. And now we have to attach a transform node that is going to be the controller of this image. So just select the media in, add a transform. This transform is going to be the controller. So I'm going to rename it to controller. Just like that, it okay. And now you can use this controller to control the image. As an example, if you want to scale it up, you can simply select the controller and increase the scale a little bit and fit the image according to you. Or you can also change the position and rotation of the image. So I want to place this image like this. So here it is. After that, we have to animate the whole output. So we have to take one more transform node just after the main output. So select the main output, add a transform node. This transform is going to be the scale animation. So hit F2 on the keyboard to rename. Let's call it a scale. Hit enter, drag and drop to the viewer. Just go to the end of this animation. Here we have the size. So just right click on the size, click on animate. Or you can also click on the diamond button to create a keyframe at the end of this animation. Just go to very first frame of this animation 
and here we have to increase the size a little bit so I'm gonna set the value 1.3 and now we will get this type of zoom out animation we have the first output which is looking like this and now let's create one more output so it's very simple just take a new uh, color corrector node and attach this scale output with this color corrector drag and drop to the viewer here select the color corrector uh, you can also call it CC in the sort form color corrector hit ok now select the color corrector here we have the saturation in the inspector window if you don't have the inspector window you can simply click on the inspector and here let's set the saturation 0 gain value 1.6 or maybe 0 0.6 sorry and now it's looking like this after that we have to make it blur so i'm gonna use a lens blur effect you can use any blur effect such as gaussian blur etc so i'm gonna use this lens blur hit add button drag the blur to the viewer all right you can rename these node according to you such as this is the lens blur so uh, we can call it lb for lens blur and now uh, we have two different output the first one is looking like this and the second one is looking like this um, I'm gonna use this second output as a background and here we're gonna use the main output in a different manner so uh, what we have to do let's take a new uh, background node and this background is going to be the circle so right click on that click on rename call it circle now let's attach an ellipse mask with this just like that this is the ellipse uh, icon you can drag and drop just go to on frame number 120 and here we have the width and height so let's set the width value 0 0.7 and height value 0 0.7 now we have to animate the width and height so it's very simple right click on the width click on animate right click on height click on animate we have to animate both width and height and then go to the very first frame of this animation let's set the width value 0 height value 0 and we will get this type of animated circle and obviously this is the linear animation so let's make it smoother just go to the spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen here we have the ellipse you have to simply check the ellipse like this click on fit button highlight all the keyframes by dragging like this here we have the smooth button or you can also hit s to smooth after that we have to create a smooth graph so this is the width and height both are selected let's uncheck the width check the height only and just set the cdi over here hold this handle and drag it like this and uh, let's create this type of uh, graph and do the same thing for the width perfect now you can close the spline window and here we have this smooth animation perfect drag and drop the circle to the viewer as you can see we have this type of output and i'm going to use this black section as a mat so we have to place this output inside of the circle so it's very simple let's take a new merge node again i'm going to use this circle as a mat so let's connect the yellow background point with this and green foreground point with this output which is the main output all right now drag and drop the merge tool to the viewer you can place the nodes right over here select the merge and go to the uh, inspector window here we have the operator let's change this operator over to in and then we will get this type of output which is looking absolutely perfect and after that we have to create a stroke effect so it's very simple select these two nodes but before that let's rename it just select the ellipse right click on that click on rename and let's call it ellipse only and now select both the nodes hit ctrl c on the keyboard to copy or you can also right click on that click on copy and paste another copy of this over here this is the circle and this is the stroke so let's call it stroke -E, stroke hit ok and this is the ellipse and the ellipse underscore one perfect 
and then just drag the stroke to the viewer and here we have the black color so let's change the color to white let's go to inspector window and set it to white color and then select the ellipse which is the stroke one and uncheck the solid and here we have the water width so i'm going to set the water width value 0.004 now we have to merge this uh, the stroke with the main output so we have to take a new merge node or you can also simply connect the stroke output with this uh, merge to output and we will get the new merge automatically and drag this merge 3 to the viewer and here we will get something like this but we have to change the size of the circle so select the ellipse go to on the frame number 120 where we have created a keyframe this is very important and then we have to down the size of the width and height so uh, right now we have the 0 0.7 so let's set the value 0 0.65 height value 0.65 and now we will get this type of output i'm gonna blend the stroke with the image so select the merge node and here we have the apply mode so we have to set the blending mode or apply mode to overlay and now it's looking like this you can increase or decrease the thickness of the stroke from here which is the border width and now it's looking perfect after that we have to set the stroke in the corner but before that select all these node by dragging like this right click on that click on copy and we have to set the circle in this corner so you can turn on the guide from here for the reference select the ellipse and change the position of the center x and y so I'm going to set the center X and Y value 0.9 and do the same thing for the stroke ellipse. Basically we have to place the circle in this corner and then we have to paste the same node combination over here. So right click on that, click on paste and here we will get the another copy of this. We need to connect the green foreground point with this scale output just like that now you can drag and drop to the viewer so this is looking perfect now we have to create one more copy of this so simply right click on that click on paste again and we have the third copy of these node combination and again do the same thing connect the green point with this scale output and then you can drag and drop the third one to the viewer we have to set the circle in this corner so select the ellipse and here we have the center x let's set the value 0 0.1 0 0.1 in center x and y both select the second ellipse which is the stroke one and do the same thing for this one so set the value 0 0.1 0 0.1 in both x and y and after that we have three different output and we have to merge all the output together but before that I want to make this uh, output blur so here we have to connect a uh, lens blur effect so it's very simple just deselect all the node hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box search for lens blur add a lens blur on the flow window you can simply rename it to the lb2 for lens blur 2 perfect hold shift on the keyboard and attach this lens blur right over here with this input all right and now you can place it over here maybe you can create a gap on this circle i want to add the text that's why i have created a blur effect right over here all right now let's merge all the outputs so it's very simple let's connect the foreground with the background and we will get the new merge drag it to the viewer after that we have to connect the foreground with the background and drag the merge 5 to the viewer and now we will get this type of output as you can see we have to add the drop shadow on each circles so just place this merge node over here let's attach the drop shadow effect so simply just double click on the blank area hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box search for drop shadow so this is the drop shadow hit add button 
hold shift on the keyboard and attach this drop shadow right over here for the first circle and let's do some setting select the drop shadow here we have the drop distance let's set the drop distance zero all right now right click on that click on copy paste the node over here hold shift on the keyboard and attach this drop shadow over here maybe and for the second one let's add one more so right click on that click on paste hold shift on the keyboard and attach this drop shadow for the third circle and now we will get the drop shadow effect right over here which is looking slightly different and better and then we have to merge this output with the background so again it's very simple connect the foreground with this background output you can place the merge right over here drag it to the viewer and now this is the final output and let's have a look so it's looking great as you can see now you can click on fit button click on the single viewer so here we have the main output which is looking like this after that we have to add a text right over here so it's very simple again we have to add the text node after this merge 6 so let's take a text node and merge this text with the main output so it's very simple connect the text with the merge 6 output and we will get the new merge drag and drop to the viewer select the text and type anything whatever you want and we have to select our favorite font style so in this case i'm using Babel's new font style which is the adobe font style you can use any different font style that you like and now i'm going to set it to middle perfect now let's increase the size so i'm going to set the value 0.1 and we have to align the text to the left side so here we have the edge anchor click on the left and you can place the text over here you can turn on the guide for the reference and now you can place the text over here maybe just like that and after that we have to animate the text it's very simple select the text right click on the text box and click on the follower modifier and go to the modifier and here we have the delay option so let's uh, increase the delay value set the value of 5 and here we have to change the order so i'm going to select the order random but one by one and after that we have to animate the opacity of the text so just go to the setting and here let's go to the frame number 120 right click on the opacity click on animate go to on the frame number 30 right over here set the opacity zero and we will get this type of random opacity animation which is looking nice after that we have to create a duplicate of the text so it's very simple select the text node hit ctrl c to copy hit ctrl v to paste right click on that click on rename let's call it text 02 perfect now we have to merge the second text with the main output like this and drag the merge 8 to the viewer after that select the text let's change the position of the second text you can type the second line over here just like that and then i'm going to change the font style so in this case i'm using the font style barlow and uh, let's uh, set it to the bold and now we have nice and simple text combination perfect and now we have to create a time gap between both the text because both are revealing at the same time so let's create a time gap of 30 frame so just go to the spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen we have to minimize all the things you only have to check the text to click on fit button highlight all the keyframes just go to on frame number 60 right over here and move all the keyframes at the frame number 60 over here so now we have a time gap of half second and it's looking nice now you can close the spline window and we have to add one more text so hit ctrl v on the keyboard to paste or you can also right click on that click on paste rename it to text 3 and we have to merge the text with the main output drag and drop the merge to the viewer let's type something over here so select the text and 
let's type a number which is a zero and one drag the text and place it over here maybe you can set this to regular or maybe bold and you can increase the size of the text and you can change the line spacing for better output all right now you can place it over here so it's almost done now let's connect the media out with the main output just like that now you can see the node construction as you can see and after that just go to the edit page and here we have the first slide which is looking nice after that let me show you how you can create multiple slides so it's very simple select the fusion composition hit ctrl c to copy place the cdi right over here hit ctrl v to paste all right now just place the cdi on the second fusion composition just go to the fusion page and here we have to replace this media in which is the image so just delete the media in let's import another image or video file so this is the second image let's drag and drop on the flow window connect the media in with the controller and now you can control the size of the image by using this controller so first of all just go to the end of this animation and now you can increase the size a little bit and place it over here just like that and you can rename the text so just go to the text section over here select the first text and type the first line second line and the number just like that and then go to the edit page and here we have the first slide and the second slide it's looking nice and after that we have to add a transition between them we have to use a burn transition so i'm going to use uh, this burn transition let me import into this uh, the vinci resolve just click on the import media and i'm going to use this burn effect just select the burn effect if you want to download this burn effect you can download the complete project file that i have given a link in the description you can get all the things inside of the project file just click on open and this is the burn transition let's drag and drop on the timeline here we have the burn transition you can simply select the transition and see it's looking like this but we have to blend the transition so select the uh, burn transition just go to inspector window here we have the compositing mode let's change this to screen mode select the screen option and now we will get this type of burn transition it's looking like this and now it's almost done so just go to very first frame of this animation turn on the loop button hit ctrl f to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you guys like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification for more interesting videos and also hit the like button for this video my name is vikas and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye